Yo, Henny. What up, J-Rex? Summer's bothering me, man. I gotta get it off my chest. What's good, bro? The kids in the hood still laugh and play But is it really all good when you pass away? Cause your sugar gets high in a tragic way Ups and downs and systematic pain Watch as he sweet straight rot our teeth Hit the bloodstream, run deep, disbelief We used to kick it, just sipping iced tea Until we realized it was causing disease And my mom and my daddy and everyone in between My pops pokes his belly with the insulin Takes every last pill that's prescribed to him Cause they keep him alive, or so they says But what's living when you can't even play with your kids Or teach them healthy habits on how to live All this sugar intake has got to give And we need to get back to the way we live To make a positive out of negative I used to rock a big bad bag of chips now it's what's up doc with some carrot sticks because every little native out there at risk and their parents got it and it can't be fixed so we lose a lot it's of always a dream of a grandma to create a healthy community healthier families healthier world and our grandmothers had that knowledge and that's what idhc is doing now and we want to promote the healing of our spirit first, because that's where wellness starts, and then our hearts. We have to get free from all that hurt and that pain so that we can continue to heal our mind and our body. Sego Ani Buju Tungasagit. On behalf of Carol Taylor, the board chair, I'm pleased to provide you with IDHC's Year in Review video. As a nonprofit organization that's been operating for 23 years, the IDHC has been on its journey to servicing the Indigenous communities in diabetes prevention. IDHC has evolved its bundle of tools, multi-level programming that embraces mind, body and spirit, building on traditional teachings and best practices. We have built a trustworthy map of the terrain over the years that includes HR, finance, and communications accountabilities. These are the ways that we have ensured IDHC's sustainability. We also completed a new communication strategy to be launched in 2019, which will strengthen our grassroots style of communication and allow Indigenous peoples to have their own voice. We honed a new vision, which as of 2018, is to build Indigenous diabetes wellness capacity in Ontario, and we went right to work on it. In the parents got it, and it can't be fixed, so we lose a lot of people off of sugar crisps. 2018 was a pivotal year for us. We're elevating our programming to a new level. The IDHC team exceeded expectations. We're very well positioned in 2019 to build capacity across Ontario. Tragic way, ups and downs, and systematic pain. Every morning, my mama has to poke her finger. She I'm takes the IDHC's foot care program provides education, self care resources, professional assessments, treatment, and referrals within communities across Ontario. This is all done within an Indigenous cultural context as it strengthens the health outcomes of our people. The Foot Care Program collaborated with First Nation health centres, Native organisations and wellness programs, as well as health service providers to coordinate 25 diabetes foot care events this fiscal year. The foot clinics at these events allow chiropodists and foot care nurses to provide diabetic foot screenings, treatment on concerns and referrals for follow-up care. We were so successful with our foot care events that we had to generate a wait list to make it a priority to service in this next fiscal year. The foot care program works strategically with IDHC's knowledge program and the Indigenous Certification Board of Canada, where we collaborated to certify the Diabetes Level 1 foot care course. And later that year, we worked with Grand Council Treaty 3 to coordinate training in Kenora, where we trained 19 of their frontline workers. In September of 2018, I presented at the Ruth Rutan Foot Care Conference, incenting foot care nurses across Ontario to join the work and increase the coverage of the areas that we service. Also last year, I met with members of Provincial Parliament and Diabetes Canada to influence policy change and to bring diabetes to the forefront of governmental planning. Our foot care program is a unique holistic model. In 2018, the team delivered 25 foot care events across Ontario, half of which were in northern communities. In 2018, the Ministry of Health and Long-Term Care made announcements about two areas of our programming, foot care and gestational diabetes prevention. 
For many years, we delivered these programs on a one-time funded basis. These programs are now core funded, which strengthens our bundle and allows us to deliver these programs uninterrupted. Upon the hunt for wheat, eating berries, wild rice, and wild meats, and now our pancreas sit won't Our traditional knowledge program works closely with elders, knowledge keepers, to create training for frontline workers across Ontario. In 2018, we completed the accreditation process with the Indigenous Certification Board of Canada, which will uniquely certify frontline workers in our training modules. Our gestational program was core funded this year. It's a unique program, one of its kind in Ontario. Its purpose is to provide training for frontline workers in gestational diabetes awareness and prevention, and more importantly, the cultural teachings surrounding pregnancy and childbirth. This year, we provided the training even in remote communities across Ontario. The gestational diabetes program um, for IDHC is to bring a, a cultural, a native cultural perspective teachings to native people. And that seven generations is a very profound um, teaching about how we are supposed to think and make decisions based on where we're going to be at in the seven in seven generations from now. Gestational diabetes um, kits that we distribute when we do the presentations, they were specifically um, designed to help um, the coordinators who are working with the moms uh, to give them tools of, um, I guess what. What we found was uh, helpful, what's lacking in our communities. I, I'm so happy that there is a collaboration that's happening with uh, Ontario midwives because part of the midwifery, um, I guess giving birth with a, a midwife, is there's so much different care that's given by the midwives. Well, the, the role of um, elders and um, knowledge keepers for uh, gestational diabetes is um, vital to uh, helping our young women, our future generations, to be able to bring life into this world with that relationship or connection to the ancestors because that's where the knowledge comes they from. They lose their legs and their family end up in a coma so tragically could have been prevented though. Our Diabetes Wellness Program delivers programming in organizations, communities, typically around healthy lifestyles, diabetes awareness from an Indigenous perspective. Uh, predominantly, we deliver programming in Southern Ontario. However, in 2019, we saw more requests from Northern communities. A highlight for 2018 was the Honoring Our Traditional Foods event. The first one held, held at Hamilton. It did so well, we held another one in London. I've been with IDHC for 18 years now and I've seen a lot of changes over the years. We have a lot of acceptance and support from our communities as well as the health professionals. The diabetes wellness team does a lot of presentations, workshops, uh, builds connections with our host organizations and First Nation communities. Um, there's four of us in the team and each one has our own unique strengths and creativity that brings a lot of uniqueness to our team. We do many, many presentations and workshops over the year, but in, for the annual report, we like to highlight four of our um, exciting events that we've had. In the south, in my region, um, I observed National Aboriginal Diabetes Awareness Day in partnership with the Peel Aboriginal Network and the Bramley Health Centre. So we brought uh, diabetes awareness to the group. I've also partnered with the 40 Year Native Friendship Centre to uh, their summer student camp counsellors to build diabetes. We talked about let them know what diabetes awareness uh, is so that they can see the signs and symptoms of what diabetes is in case any of the campers are living with diabetes. I've also partnered with them as well with the Niagara District School Board in coordinating the I Know Conference. And it's igniting knowledge and nurturing our wellness. In the West, we partner with the Native Horizon Treatment Center, the Six Nations Justice Program, Can-Am Friendship Center in Windsor, just to name a few. Uh, Crystal Bomberry's strengths are fitness. She is a certified yoga instructor, she's a certified fitness instructor, and brings that uniqueness to the, our team. In the Eastern Region, we partnered with the Loving Spoonful Group, uh, Correction Services Canada, as well as the Indigenous Blood Pressure Screening Group. 
Autumn Watson's uniqueness is um, bringing those land-based teachings uh, as well as some uh, traditional teachings and crafts that have been uh, lost like quill work and birch bark, uh, something that we're reconnecting with. Leanne May left the position to pursue another endeavor. Uh, Cody McGregor, he joined our team in April this year and his uniqueness is Anishinaabe Moan. He can help us bring language into all our programs. Our big highlight this year was our annual event honoring our traditional foods. We had a lot of land-based teachings and hands-on activities. Uh, we learned about the Haudenosaunee corn and the Anishinaabe wild rice and all the teachings and the gifts that they bring us. We carved out the pathways to make them accessible for all of our people. We freely provide the community-based model of care that we have developed over the years and we facilitate and encourage communities and all that opt in to share and develop their capabilities. We value and respect autonomy and diversity. Our model of holistic wellness respects personal choice and the right to privacy. Our approach to deliver services upon invitation, building relationships and always including traditional teachings is a power. Lately I've been thinking about how I'm ever going to say goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. Oh, it's not an easy thing to do. The kids in the hood still laugh and play, but is it really all good when you pass away? Hi, my name is Roger Pilo. I'm a primary healthcare nurse practitioner. Uh, I'm an educator and I'm also a practicing uh, clinician. Uh, I just had the privilege of doing a presentation at the Diabetes Wellness uh, presentation today to share a bit about my research. We've been doing the cooking classes for about a year now and I'm finding that our clients are more confident with their cooking skills and they're able to scan the flyers for bargains and shop on a budget. Hello, my name is Joel Kennedy. I changed my lifestyle, lost 120 pounds and finished my first marathon. If you have goals, believe in yourself, because I know you can attain those as well. You have to work hard and commit yourself, but you can do it. I invite people to come to IDHC for their practitioner and elders program to help our communities heal. Hi, my name is uh, Chef Tanya Brandt. I am the owner and chef of Yoego Foods. Uh, we offer modern indigenous foods uh, for today's palate. For our foods, we've had a lot of people really intrigued. Uh, they're the new taste, the new flavors. They're loving them. I've even had somebody ask if I would adopt them. It's better than a fresh glass of water. Funny how these corporations market and gotcha, and there's pains in your heart. We boast a hard-won record of accomplishment working in indigenous diabetes and health. We see the pathway to health emerge the earned positive change manifested by the trust, enthusiasm, and healing stories of the people that we serve. To echo the words of our elders, it's our time. The good kind of cold winter, we stay in warmer. We keep the circle strong, but let's keep it stronger for our next generation. I commend Carol Taylor for her ongoing support and dedication. As acting board chair, her years of health experience with the Snobby Nation, the support of her family, and her personal health journey were motivated. Thank you to our past member organizations for their contributions over the past 20 years. Though we are sad to see them leave, we embrace change and look forward to welcoming new members who will guide us in our mission. Grandmother Renee has been um, um, a great resource for IDHC. I know that she helps with uh, many of the programs and she helps the clients themselves. And um, we're so lucky to have her with, uh, with this program and the organization. As well as Alan Jameson, um, because he brings the teachings for the men. And that's something that I feel, um, especially when it comes to um, pregnancy and parenting, that there's not enough resources for the fathers. And he brings that aspect of encouragement and the teachings for the men.